Hey guys, you're watching Concept, and in this video, we're gonna talk about pointers. Uh, before we get into pointers, I just wanted to know, know that uh, pointers are not the same as references. People interchangeably use those two words uh, when making a, a pointer to some object. They usually say, uh, oh, I'll make a reference to that object. They actually making a pointer. References are totally different topic and different thing in C++ and we'll talk about it later. It's uh, why they use reference as a word because in some uh, high level languages actually their, their references are same as in C++ pointers. Uh, as for pointers, they are actually indirect references or pointer references. We can call them like that because they actually are reference to address where our object is located. Okay, let's say that we have a function called some function, which takes an uh, argument of int32 and float. And we have int32, which is called my int, and which is equal to 5. And we have a float, which is called my fault, and equal to 6.5. And we say, OK, let's run that function. We run it, and we say my int is what we need, that int32. And my float is this float, which is taken as argument. OK, now what will actually happen? It will not take these, but it will create a new one. It will create a copy. So it will actually create a, which is equal to 5, and b, which is equal to 6.5. So as you can see, I'm oh, sorry, as you can see, it created a copy. You can see this is A, this is B, so it created a copy of already existing variables. Uh, for the numbers, it really doesn't matter because they only use one byte and uh, it almost makes no difference for our memory. But for example, let's imagine that one of the argument is A actor. And we also define here A actor, uh, my actor. You can only imagine what will actually happen if we pass this actor and every time make a copy of it. This class actually got uh, a lot of code and it will only take a lot of memory every time we use it. That is why we use uh, one thing called pointer, which is this star. So what's the point of pointers? Uh, when pointers are assigned, they actually tell C++, listen C++, don't make me any copies, but go to this address in memory and you will find my actor and work with that actor on that address. Let's say we have variable in 32 called my int and in 32 pointer called pointer to int. Now they are not assigned. We will assign my int to be equal to 5 but our pointer we will assign to be equal to address of this my int. This end sign means give me address of this variable. What will actually happen? Okay, I just wrote random address, but let's say that this is actually address. This will actually mean uh, pointer to int is equal to some address in memory. Now, before we get further, I just wanted to tell you that probably in tutorials you've seen uh, this end sign to be put between variable type and variable name. Uh, this end sign is not same as this one. It doesn't have same purpose. This is actually called reference, uh, what we, we will talk about later. But for now, just remember, if you only have variable name and you put end sign, that means uh, address of that variable. Okay, there's one more thing to show. If we write down star ptr to int, what it, this actually means? This means, okay, I have my pointer. This star before that means whatever is on that pointer, whatever is on that address, you will say it's equal to 10. What will actually happen? So uh, it will go to that address. What's on that address? It's my int. So actually my int will be equal to 10. 
just to clear things up this star before pointer name is not the same as this star between pointer type and pointer name. This is actually creating a pointer. When you call this, you, you will say whatever is on that address, change it to 10, as you can see. But as for pointers, pointers can be reassigned. They can uh, point to this address. We already said to my int, but let's say that we have my int 2. And that's, oh, sorry. And that's my int 2 is equal to 7 let's say we can now say okay you're you're pointing to my int you're giving me address of my int we can now say pointer to int is equal to and sign my int 2 now it doesn't uh, contain this address anymore it will now contain address of my int 2 so this pointer will be equal to some other address let's say to 3 and it's uh, address of my int 2 so you can always reassign your pointers okay uh, we passed technical part uh, I will put uh, links down in the description when you can read more about pointers but uh, how do we utilize this in uh, Unreal Engine because for example if we delete this and you will probably see something like you world pointer uh, it will be called world our world is equal to get world now will you uh, now you will ask like why do we use pointer for get world you will need to read these functions I will just make a print screen of it okay here's the print screen of it now uh, if you see this get world will give us a pointer to you world so that's why we define it as you world pointer because uh, all uh, functions in uh, Unreal already works with uh, pointers so what will actually happen is that when we call this get world it will give us address of your world that is why we need to define in our uh, file that uh, our pointer is pointer to your world uh, this will actually mean that uh, our world will be equal to I don't know some address I will write down anything which is address of world world is actually world uh, we're working in uh, in Unreal Engine now we assign this your world pointer to be equal to address of whatever this function gives us it will give us address of already you existing world and we want to access that world we're working it we'll say our world now how can we access all functions and properties it has we can access it with this sign this is an accessor sign and we will say get first player controller now read this first player controller we give us a new address it will give us address of a player controller star don't forget that you have a player controller star now in that case that means that we will need to define a player controller pointer which is be which will be my PC my player controller which will be equal to this and you can see it's all working fine you can actually define this in dot h file and just call it by name for example you can say that a player controller exists okay you define it here and you say only my PC is equal to this address which will give get from first from uh, this function okay but what is the problem with pointers for example I deleted uh, already existing and I said I will have a pointer to player controller but this is not assigned this is only defined but not assigned so uh, when I say my PC access initialize components it doesn't uh, have any address so what will actually happen if we compile okay compile is complete now when I put this in game and I say play you will see that my picture is all frozen and it's crashing why it is a crashing 
because and you can see a crash error most of the crashes you will get because of a pointer just to note why is this crashing because we said initialize components but what components we did not say what is this pointer we, we did not say uh, this pointer is on that address if we said like get world get first player controller it will give us address of first player controller and this will be assigned to that address but we did nothing that is why uh, it's crashing because it's a null pointer it doesn't have any address and we said uh, something to do uh, while not having any components to work with but what can we do to protect our pointers uh, we will do something you've seen in tutorials like if uh, my PC is not equal to null pointer then do this in brackets uh, so it checks if it is a null pointer pass this if it is it isn't it points to the real pointer to real address then do this in this case it's an null pointer because it doesn't point to anything we only define it but we did not assign it uh, and yeah you also have something like this people will it is almost the same thing like null ptr or null but it's safer to use null ptr so just to make sure that you get it i assign this my player controller a pointer to be equal to the address of the first player controller so it will not be null but anyways we still uh, put this for uh, safety reasons now it will run fine and it will not crash uh, but why we talk in technical parts uh, about if you remember this end sign and my int uh, as uh, give me address of my int uh, we don't r r use it actually too much in uh, basic functions uh, of uh, Unreal Engine Unreal Engine already has functions which has uh, pointers and as outputs or as uh, inputs but there's one function that actually uses this end sign as uh, give me address that function is actually uh, bind bind action if you remember when you bind some uh, button to action for example it has this end sign and it has this method uh, it actually uh, needs an input like give me address give me the pointer to that uh, method which I will run when you press jump uh, if you go to the unreal page you will see something like this and you will uh, it's all, all explained but maybe this is much complicated than others but you will see f method pointer so it needs a pointer if you write down just method you gave it a method but it needs address of a method that is why we use that and sign but you you will really rarely see that in uh, unreal uh, maybe if you create your own functions uh, they will need something like that but for now just concentrate uh, on basic stuff like uh, creating a pointer and assigning it yeah that's pretty much it as for pointers uh, if you didn't understand uh, just give it a time uh, it takes time do some tutorials and uh, eventually you will get it